I'm building a retaining wall from reclaimed timbers. The whole process is documented in a series of short videos, which are linked in the description section. You can pick and choose the topics you want to see, or better yet, you can binge watch the series from beginning to end. In this episode, I'll go over how I came up with the design. I have this fire pit that faces the main road. Years ago, I planted some bamboo and a rhododendron to make a privacy screen. Over time, the vegetation filled in. Now the plants almost overhang the burn area, so not ideal. Obviously, I have to get the plants away from the burn area, but at the same time, I want to keep my privacy screen. I can move the plants back from the fire pit, but that places them down the embankment more than three feet lower than where they are now. That's too low to screen off the view. To get the plants up and out from the fire pit, I need a three foot tall retaining wall that extends at least four feet out from the top of the embankment. After doing some measuring and calculating, I realized I have enough material to add a secondary triangle here. I started the project by putting up this measuring frame. Uh, the two eight-foot boards show the length and angle of the timbers. One of the most important measurements at this point was the angle of the triangle. Here I am marking 8 inch increments representing the top of each 6x8 timber. I figured I could stack 4 timbers on end on top of a cinder block base to give me a 34 inch vertical dimension at the tip of the triangle. Once I had the vertical marks, I used a carpenter square to measure the horizontal length of each timber. With these measurements, I figured I could fabricate the main triangle with 5 8 foot timbers. All right, that's how I designed my retaining wall. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series where I talk about the fabrication process. Mm -hmm.